Welcome to the following presentation of the Dozen Trivia Competition by Barstool Sports. Is Carl. it Crime Dog, Fred McGriff? Well, <laughs> Jesus, how in the hell? The Hungers yeah. are your champions. Unbelievable. You don't even know California! <laughs> Uh, the movie's called Get Fucked. <laughs> hey, Jack. Yes! Champions of the dozen. <laughs> Holy shit. Of Holy Town shit. All right, it's the dozen match. 255 overall match 41 of season three. It is the final match of relegation week, and we have two winless teams. 0-2-0, the Icemen, going up against 0-3-0, four-play. Uh, two teams that have had tragic seasons, but four-play, the most tragic team by far, looking to get off the schneid, same as the Icemen. I don't know what's going to happen. We've had three matches already. We have three winners. The Booze Ponies picked up their first win of the year. They should be safe. Very high fan vote. The Misfits picked up their first win of the year. They should be safe. And as well, Swamp Bass picked up their second win, took down Jeff Nadeau, who immediately quit his team when the match ended. Oh, um, quit the team. Immediately surprised. said, I'm out. See you later, Captain Cons. Uh, so he's gone. I assume the winner of this match is going to stay alive. You don't know. A win doesn't guarantee you stay alive. A loss doesn't guarantee it either. Four play, looking at you, very high fan vote. I spend pretty fucking high fan vote too for two teams. You both, you're both ranked above teams with a win, so that's that says a lot. Uh, Riggs, what's what's the morale today? Morale's high, I have to say. I have to say, for a team that's never won before, I don't know why. We had a meeting this week, a four play meeting, which we've never done before. So I feel like our juices, our flows high. So I got to say, as as a team that's never won in this season and never won last season. I think we're we're feeling as positive as we've ever felt. Doesn't That's pretty fucking big. A team meeting copy. is sometimes a bad thing, but I think it's a good thing for this situation. I like we'll that. See. We'll it's see. Big. Big. Uh, other side, Ice Ben, Nate, vibe, morale. Our morale could not be higher because Stu Finer, uh, <laughs> he's, he has his eye on the ball today. Right he roll. seems I like he's see in the zone. Game. Yeah, he, he's oh, very, did I see on did I see on Twitter that you smoked fifteen bowls before doing this episode? No, it's wrong because I smoked eighteen because I snuck out to the garage and just banged out three bowls. I'm smoking um, Joey Diaz's pot. He gives me like a quarter pound every time I do his shows. That I'm on Broadway. I open them. Gives me a QP. It's like a hundred and thirty of these packets, uh, one gram packets, and um, it's thirty seven percent THC. It makes you feel so good. Oh. How can you not wow. smoke? It's got to be so, true. Yeah, you can't smoke too much weed because uh, this guy. We feel good about our chances. I think we're going to win. I, do. I think I'm going to make you proud, Nate, tonight. It's an honor to be here. Thank you. Ilio, thank you. God bless you. May God be with you. These these are two teams with a big fan vote, and the reaction we released the schedule is multiple people replied about both teams not wanting these teams out of here. So we'll see. Big one. 24 questions, 12 rounds of trivia, 25th being the bonus round, showdown bonus round tonight, pen and paper. We'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, Finalist person for four-play rigs still? Yeah. Right yeah. in and out. Nate, finalist person for the Ice Men. Three lifelines, double up any category you want. You cannot double up round uh, 10. That's an each category round. And then also your call a friend and your double dip. Those can be paired together. Reminder, uh, Riggs, are you in Arizona right now, I assume? Yes. The dozen will be in that great state. And in Scottsdale, uh, tickets on sale, I think, next week to the live event in Arizona. Chicklets versus ED. First time on stage, Dave Bless versus you, Wit and Biz. Got the experts. Got the yak. It's going to be wild. Uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be something. So make sure if you're in Arizona or if you're a very confident fan of one of your teams and you're thinking ahead that you're going to be at the Super Bowl, go buy tickets Thursday, February 9th. And it will be broadcast for the first time live on YouTube. Live. Wow. wow. Watch it at home. Wow. Very cool. Congrats, Congrats Jeff. Jeff. Oh, that's that's great. That's amazing. Oh, no. That's amazing. Uh, 1030, <laughs> 1030 Eastern time. So stay up late for that one. Uh, here we go. Arizona is beautiful no matter what you're doing there. So what when's this coming place? out? This is coming out on Thursday Scott's night. Is this coming out tomorrow night? In the world. Sorry. This Great. is the last like match it. of the week, Thursday it. night. If you're watching right so now, tomorrow, it's Tomorrow, actually, at noon, if you're if you're in Arizona also, our Saguaro uh, Scramble goes live. So 12 o'clock, if you're looking on our social medias, we have a two-man two, uh, two team 
two scramble person. in two person. two person, two women, two men, however two you want. Two non-binary, it whoever, whoever wants to. Want. One woman. Doesn't matter. You don't have to decide. You don't have to, we're not going to make you decide on what the gender is at the golf course. We're not course. here to we're tell you sure what you have to decide in any way. But I want to see, this is what always happens. Unless you want to play in our tournament. Just promote the scramble, Frankie. The scramble happens tomorrow. Why are we talking about gender? The scramble's happening tomorrow at 12 o'clock is when the teams are going to go live. They're going to sell out, so make sure you're there. So. Thank you, Jeff. Let's play some fucking trivia. Let's do it. It's going to be a fun week in Arizona. Here we go. First up every round is the Icemen. Icemen up first every round. We're for, All right, Stu, you got that? We're first every round. Okay, thank you. I understand that. I never have. Never, and I never <laughs> understood you. that when I screamed shit at it, I could be helping the other team, too. I've been a dead trip all the way around. We're going to need that. We're gonna need that. Yeah. How come we get like the news, Stu? Like, I wish we. Oh, I, I am, you can't answers. believe how bad I am. There's words I want to say about myself that we're not allowed to use. MLB first category. This is for the Ice Man. Here's your question. 35 seconds. In the 2014 offseason, the Padres made multiple trades, including acquiring this former NL MVP runner-up outfielder from their own division. Who is this? 35 seconds on the clock for the Ice Men. 2014 Padres multiple trades. NL MVP from their own division. So it was the Dodgers, maybe. Then so the I'm just trying to think of Giants. right or I have no idea. Like literally. I don't even remember the Padres 2014. Need something in. Five, four. Do you have anything, Elio? Three, two, one. Kemp, four, thinking, Matt I'm Kemp. Thinking of Matt Kemp, maybe. <clears throat> I'm thinking of the, well, they're done, right? I heard the yeah, buzzer. Yeah, four play. Yeah, who are you thinking? I'm of? thinking of who's the who's and this is mean to him, but who's the ugly guy from the Giants, the San Francisco Giants, the outfielder? He always wore. He had the really high um socks. Five the guy really from high the Giants. socks. Yeah, San Francisco Giants, really high socks. He was ugly as sin. One. Really good player. I got nothing. Fuck. Correct answer is Matt Kemp, which Elio oh, did give away. Oh, no! <laughs> well done. Well, hey, listen, you said it. Before you had it. Elio what an said amazing it. 20 start seconds into your turn. Who was games. I thinking what of, by the way? I was blind. I was blind. That, was hard. that would have been. I got to know. That has happened one time in the history of the show. Ben Mintz did it last year in the tournament. That is the third consecutive match a player has given an answer away. Uh, but they did not get it, so it did not hurt the Iceman. <laughs> Jeff, turn the buzzer up. We need we need the buzzer up. I'll go even further. I'll go even of, further up. Picture him. I can't think. Other He's side. Lincecum? He's a pitcher. No, outfield, they're curly In hair. the 2013 right, offseason, the Rangers traded away longtime star Ian Kinsler to acquire this six-time all-star first baseman from an AL Central team. For four play, thirty five seconds, zero zero. <clears throat> I have no clue, none. Mitch Moreland. Wow, it's a Six name. Time. That's a good start, Mitch Moreland. <laughs> um, I mean, as a, I, mean, I know like, he he was a uh, he was a first baseman. Was he a six time All Star first baseman? I don't know. Sounds man. like a real person. I, All right, talk to me about still... AL Central teams. You got you got the White Sox. You got the Royals. You got what about um. Oh, no, no, no. Need an answer. You, I, mean, gonna... I don't know, dude. Uh, that's the name that came to my head. Oh, Mitch Moreland? I don't think it was that. It feels like he's been playing more recently, but go ahead. Mitch Moreland, you. final answer. I could tell by Jeff. Side, he seconds. didn't like that. He hated that. First baseman. God, he's... Ian, Ian Kinsler. Kinsler. What is it? He traded... For first baseman for Amsterdam. So where did Kinsler retire or end up? Cleveland? No. Uh Kansas City? No. So Canerco? What what position did he play? Five. Four. Paul Canerco, final answer. It, is it the Boy. is it the Cleveland first baseman? I don't know his name. Hey, Prince Fielder. Prince Fielder. Oh, oh. Prince Fielder. Oh. Oh. Wow. Never get that in a That's, trillion years. All right. Well, that's exactly Shepard. how a match between two winless teams would start. <laughs> for, for somebody actually knew the answer and still nobody got it. Yep. <laughs> Elio had it. Though. Elio had Here it. we go. It's for the ice pen. Name the two celebrities matched up in this photo. Oh, um, I actually know half of it. Um, 
Do you know the woman? Yeah, the woman is. Uh, do you know who do you know? The man or the, the woman? woman? Yeah, so do I. Um, I don't know her name though. Do you know you have her name? <laughs> I, know her. I was gonna say she's. I was gonna say she's the woman from that show. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm screwed then. I I can't help. But you. I don't know the man either. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no. I think Trent knows it. Fuck. I don't know. I mean, Trent I, known I, I mean, face, but you can't Hello, say because you know the they were giving it to them. I think I have a guess Five. for the. I have a. I have no, a, don't do it. What? Don't Three. do it. Right. Don't say Two. it. Right. Got gotcha. you. One. No. The guy That's is John Stewart. Stewart. John Stewart. That's definitely John Stewart. And, uh, I, and I know uh, the actress, but I am with Elio. I don't know the name of God, her. God, do I know that actress? I know that actress. Like I've seen her in everything. Oh, we got to come up with that um, name. We know this. Yes. Susan Sarandon. Yes, yes. Su- Susan Sarandon. John Stewart. Susan Sarandon. Final answer. What? <laughs> Sigourney Weaver. Oh, oh so come on. Oh, shit. Yeah. Sigourney yep. Weaver. Oh, oh, she kind of looked like Susan yeah. Sarandon. Yeah, Big time. yeah she yeah. got red hair. Yeah, Big time. zero zero, Fuck. four play. So we, You're up. So we tie, right? That's it. It's over. <laughs> right. No, they get this. <laughs> oh, that's, that's Charlie uh, Sheen. Charlie Sheen and oh, um, um, the uh, late she's she's on like those shows. Um, <laughs> she's on like Comedy Central. She's on like Comedy Central. She Kelly like Keats. interviews people sometimes, isn't it? No, um, Comedy Central interview. Comedy Central interview. She's um, she's like sometimes like, shows her joke, breasts actually. on Instagram. Like she's like a comedian. Oh, Remember, Chelsea like, Handler. Chelsea, is that Chelsea Handler? Mm, do yeah, you I think, think it so? is. Oh, she Charlie does Sheen. Does Charlie have, Sheen. Does Chelsea does Handler. Is that our final That'd be my guess? I God, I, I've never seen her make that face with I her don't. lips. But and I don't even know if she has blue eyes. Final <laughs> answer, it, dude. Charlie. What Charlie Sheen, yeah. Chelsea said, Handler. Sorry, I said Chelsea Handler, Charlie Sheen. <laughs> cool. All right. We usually wow. get these, too. Iceman. Charlie Sheen. Oh, by Charlie the way, Elio, I did not have the last So I don't see her at all. I don't even see Charlie Sheen, even though I'm stoned. I don't know who the fu- I see nobody here. I'm like, I think I know who it is oh, now. Oh, like so Iowa, this is an Charles. Iowa football game. Five. Right here. Who has Four. blue eyes like that? Three. Two. Charlie Sheen and Lindsay Lohan. Ooh. That is, is Charlie Sheen and Courtney Cox. Courtney Cox. Oh, what? Nah, bro. Oh, hey, wow. listen, Holy Jeff. Sheen. Jeff, you can you can say all day that was Courtney Cox, but it wasn't. So I, I don't know what we do about that from a point standpoint. <laughs> oh, no, that was told, bullshit. I've been told Frankie was thinking of Hunter Pence. In terms oh, of that me. is right. I was thinking of Hunter Pence. Yeah. Um, was, NBA that was next not Courtney category. Cox. That was not Courtney. agreed. I yeah. That's even that's like an older version of Courtney Cox. Yeah. <laughs> zero zero. Zero zero. zero, zero. zero. <laughs> All right. We can just stop now if you don't want to put this <laughs> For the ice men. <laughs> NBA, Jose Calderon set the single season free throw percentage record playing for this East team during the 2008 2009 season. Jose Calderon? Pretty sure I have it, Elio. I God. Who a northern team? Yeah, I okay. That, I have two guesses. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, that's the team that I thought he played for, but does he? I don't think he played for anybody else. Yeah, definitely. Yes, yes. Toronto. Yes. yes. Toronto. Final answer. Yes. One to nothing. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> broke the building. I don't know like what detective they are. Like we're such a threat. Shit. I gotta speak in code. He actually played for the Knicks too, which I thought you guys were gonna say. Oh, okay, shit. I was. I oh, I only remember him. Remember him. Remember him on Four the play. Peja Stojakovic led the NBA in free throw percentage for the second time playing for this West team during the 2007-2008 season. For I know play. he played. This is us, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. I know he played for the Kings. That would be my guess. Okay. Yeah, just go with it. Because I was going to say Jazz like a fucking idiot. Ooh. So you go Ooh. ahead. No, no, no dude, you go I ahead. Think, you go ahead and say the Kings. I think we you go ahead and Trent, say we got to go with your instinct because every All time right. you second guess, we get it wrong. Back. And Nate's doing that thing that he knows he's not good at. He's making us not say the Kings. So we'll go say the Kings. Let's go Kings. Final answer. <laughs> Suck my dick, Frankie, from behind. <laughs> All right. Pages. I, this is a problem. Let the NBA so, dude, we can't play trivia. We can't play golf. Pages never played for. Right? 
Peja played for the Lakers uh, late in his career, four, right? Three, Seven, two. The Lakers, final answer? One. What'd you say? Lakers, final answer? <laughs> Hornets. <sighs> New Orleans. Good. Thank Never New Orleans. Just yeah. no, one, Never. no one on this show ever said the right answer during that. We said yeah, like seven different things. Really. We understand that? We don't I know thought, anything. I, I really thought we right, were we better at trivia than this. Brand <laughs> logos. Brand logos. Not, okay. You're gonna two brand, brand logos. logos. Stoyakum. Name the two logos in here. Okay. <laughs> this is for the Icemen. Name the two logos. Okay. Um... I have no idea to the right, to the left. I'm supposed to know that. I know the left, and I know the uh, looks like the a right is a... Looks like my dick. Relax, <laughs> do. I like that. That got a good chuckle out of me and Frank. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like trying to guess the brand. He's like, "Is it my dick?" <laughs> that has to be sort of new because I've never seen that. That's tough. Yeah, I don't know. You know the left, though, right? I, th- I, I know nothing. No, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> We're so Five. stupid. Yeah. Four. Six brains. Well, I don't know Six the brains. right, so I'm not going to say it. Okay. All uh, right. North Face. North Face. Uh, and and North is the face other is one a- Mr. Clean? Dude, is that I, his, um, I thought the one, so the one on, you guys know the one on the left we're saying? Yeah, North, North face. face. The one on the right looks like Spree, the candy. You know that one? Oh, wow. But it could be Mr. Clean, Dude, I don't know. Jeff's <laughs> more into candy than he is to Mr. Clean, right? What do you Bro, think? What I should I say? Uh, what should I say? You decide. You got a bigger uh, brain than me. Four. North Face? I don't think it's Mr. Clean. Okay, what's the other one? The candy? Spree. Four. Spree and North Face. It's a cleaning product. It's not Mr. Clean. It's Swiffer. Pine Swiffer. Swiffer. Oh, okay. Swiffer. Uh, we're Other side to make it one to one. What a battle. Name the two companies here. Two Jesus brands. Christ. All right. Oh. Patagonia. Yeah. Oh. That. Uh, spark. It's got a sparkle, which has to do with cleaning, which is like. Right. It's probably another Dole? cleaning product because the other one was North Face Patagonia. What's a cleaning product? Dole. Um, what's like one that you? What's like the blue one that you put on all the on the plates? Um, oh God! Um, oh my God! I know exactly what you're talking about. Somebody just punched me in the face. <laughs> How do we not know what that fucking logo <laughs> is? Thank God you guys are I'm sexy like picturing someone can saying, help. "Can you hand That's me the? Uh, can you hand me the? Uh, oh, why don't you just put some on it? Why don't you just put some? Um, it's like." I know what you're talking about. Yeah, squirt a little. Uh, it's not glade. Down, it's not... No, Downey's laundry. How much? Fuck. I need something in. Uh, say like Dole or some shit. <sighs> the Dole's, I think, green. I Freak. Patagonia and Dole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other side. I think. What do we. I think what what Frankie's thinking You're telling of me this eat. is a separate product than the one we saw before? It looks like the exact same thing with this over it. So, so it has Patagonia, to be a Swiffer. Something I, Swiffer. Fucking hell. I, I was going to say OxyClean. Is I he don't thinking know. of Ajax? Five. <clears throat> four. Patagonia three. and Ajax. Oh. Pledge. It is a cleaning Pledge. product. Pledge. Fuck. Can we, can, we just, can we just fucking all just take a breath here? <laughs> Can we yeah, just? At my house at my son's we just need a win. Me. I'll pay just for all the food and liquor. A win. What kind of losers we are at trivia? The National Football League. The National Football League. <laughs> all lifelines are going to the end. Oh yeah, let's 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 think about lifelines from here on out. I think I need to. I think <laughs> yeah, need to drop the good. What were you going to say there? It looks like a swirly cleaning <laughs> product. <laughs> that one not. So, but going forward, let's think about our lifelines. Can you FaceTime? <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Ice Men. Oh, that was that last one. Ice Men. Brandon Stokely, Mike Williams, John Carlson at over 150 receiving yards and four touchdowns in this NFC team's 41-36 2011 wild card win. Who are these receivers for an 11 wild card team? So, I I, I believe Ooh, I know it. Go. Elio, do you? I think I know it, Elio. I just want to confirm with you. No, I I, I don't know. I, I mean, I have a guess, but I, it's 50. No, I'd rather you you sound Is it a West Coast team? than I do. It, West Coast. Again? West Coast? I, I don't know. You you pick. Maybe, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Se- Seattle? I, I, you want me to say it? Seattle? Yeah, no, no. I think it's Five. LA Chargers. I think Four. it's the Chargers. Chargers, Chargers final Three. answer. Chargers. 
Do we know this, guys? Tell me somebody Mike knows Williams, this. Mike Williams, is he... Am I, is that the fucking... That, that's, is that the... 2011. Is that the Bucks? Foreplay, need an answer in... I don't know. Just go with... Maybe um, try that. We're going to have the... What if, okay. If we say that and then they gave us the answer, Five. we didn't take it again, that's... Oh, then then take their on. answer. Take their Three. answer. I don't know. Two. What do you... Rick. Seattle, final One. answer. That's correct. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That would have been. I, I may. I might have gotten up and walked away. Well, I, yeah. I might have quit. Oh, I might have. I might have quit the show. See, Riggs, that's, that's why wrong. you're the final answer guy. You got a, You got a bigger, better Dude. brain, and that was that was smart. Thank you for doing that. Yeah. The no. mental you toll. Had, we if we would AFC have lost team. that one. Oh, who said Elliot, we said an AFC team. Right? Yeah. yeah. It, oh, God. God. All right. I All right. It was me. I'm taking one, to no, one, one to one to take the lead for right. handing lead here. Steve he Breston, early Doucette, and Ben Patrick had over 200 receiving yards and three touchdowns as NFC teams 51 45 2010 wild card win. Mind both teams do have all lifelines. Do you guys want to make a call since, like, now we can I know, take the I know lead this and one. you know we're probably. All right. Hold on, Steve. We're, we probably. Who would we gonna... call, though? <laughs> NFL, um, you call Tommy Smokes. Would, Tommy Smokes. Do you think he lot. would know? Um, I mean, he's quite good at knowing players' names. Um, yeah, I think we early for him, but how? It was thirteen we, years ago, but I, what about I mean, guys? I just think you got to take either a risk Tommy here, if gotta, we're calling somebody Tommy or PFT. Oh yeah, I mean, if you want to call, I mean, it, guys, who who do you want to call? We got to make, we have to call someone. We're gonna, we're gonna call use somebody. Our lifeline. Okay, yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna make a phone call. Uh, I, I pick who. I like your original instinct, and I know Tommy will pick up. He's not doing anything else. True. All right. Jesus. He, he texted me earlier. He said he's gonna watch a movie tonight. Yeah, he's all right. Let's call. We're gonna call Tommy Smokes, Jeff Dilo. Got it. it, was too, it Tommy too Smokes nice. of the defending champion Uptown Balls. Smart. I mean, I just knew it was he, Seattle. Get ready to hit the bleep button. Who knows how he's going to answer this call? <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> nah, dude, he's not going to answer. What? Stop. Oh, he's dead to me. What are you talking? Tommy. Oh, he's dead to me. Tommy. <laughs> this is insane. What happens if... You are calling yes! Well, they lose oh, wow. They lose the lifeline. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. They have 10 seconds. He's calling, he's calling. No. No? no. Oh. That is the rule. That's the rule. I I, I can't. What? Right. That's the rule. Just that's the rule. No. That is, that is, that's as old of a rule as any painful. on the show. I'm sorry. No, I, listen, we're, we're, we are a rule following crew. It's just painful. Something fucking hell, Tommy. In. Piece of shit. I fucking hate you. Five. Four, we got to come up with an NFC um, team. Three. Just Bucks? uh the Bucks. fucking no, just yeah, Bucks, the Bucks or the answer. Packers. Other side. Arizona Cardinals. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> Man. <laughs> it's Arizona final answer. Two to one. Lead. Tommy Smokes Jeez. dead. Jeez. Tommy Smokes God. dead. That absolute can I just see if he texted me? I'm glad see. that yeah, we got the no, second no, half. Man. Music <laughs> next category. We want to double music. Oh, mm. oh guys, you want to double yeah. we're good at this. Yeah. We're going to double music. Jeff. That's a waste. Music of doubled that. for F- Icemen. This is for two points. What is the title of this 2003 out. Gavin DeGraw song? Gavin. Okay. Yo, go. Is it called Chariot or O Chariot? Will you accept either? Yes. Is it? I I, I absolutely cannot answer that question. Fuck. All right. Um. Well, it's one of those. So, congrats to the other team if I get it wrong. Um. What's your first thing? Chariot. Say? Final answer. Four to one. That is oh. correct. What? <laughs> God. That was big time. That was big time. Guy doesn't blink with a corner. We want a double music. music. No, we probably do. Hot. No, if it's anything like that, we're not wow, going to. That's man. a big win. To make it four to two. Okay. Title is 2003 Kelly. Um, so you got a guess, Frank? 
Miss Independent. Miss Independent. Yep. Ba da da da. Miss Independent. Miss Independent. Final answer. Four to two going into the bonus round. Four plays got a little life too. I want to come on your face. Good job, Frankie. Let's go. Good job, Frankie. Make get your pens and paper down. Go down bonus round time. Get your pens and papers out. Time to make the donuts. I, here's how this works. It's a closest guess battle. You cannot discuss it with your teammates. It's a best of five. First team to three gets two points. It's either going to be six to two Icemen or four to four. Nate, who do you want to have go first? I will. Riggs, who do you want to have go first? I will. Okay. Here is the question. Distance in miles between the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and the Country Music Hall of Fame. Distance in miles between the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and the Country Music. I will not say where they are. You have to kind of know where they are. Jeff, I've never done this round. It's not Price is Right. Correct. correct. Yes, I should have said that. Wait, who's not going? Price is Sorry. Right. You can go over. This is Nate versus Nate. Riggs. Nate versus Riggs. Dude, miles are hard, bro. Fucking writing on a paper towel is hard. You yeah, need an answer. Five. Nate will show first. Four. Three. Hold on. It's taking me a second to write on this thing. I, it's going to rip in half. It's. Ri- I have my number. Okay. Okay. All Nate. Right. I'm good. Show your answer. Ready? Yep. Uh, 673. 673 miles. Riggs. 310. Okay. 310 miles. It's got to be. <laughs> it's going to be. Correct answer. Me. 459. Four play is closer. Very close. Yes, yes Riggs. Great job, Riggs. Riggs, Riggs great job. 149. Iceman good off good by effort. Three. Positive effort. I, I was with you. Nate, who do you want to have go next? Countertop. Uh, I'll pass it to Elio. Elio. Riggs, who do you want to have go next? I'm going Trent. All right. Let's Trent. Go Trent. <laughs> Come on, Trent. Here we go. <laughs> that was so close. <laughs> Total chapters in the original Harry Potter book franchise. Total chapters in the original Harry Potter book franchise. Miss Frankie, that's tough. It's just that's the luck of the Frankie didn't Frankie didn't read the books. I uh, I wouldn't have known the same. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I might have saved them then. In the whole series, you're saying correct. All all the whole series. I hadn't read all the books. I don't think I would know that even close. Yeah. All right, I Come just on, I, something came up in my head and I said and I put it on the phone. Okay, Elio, page. reveal first. I think we have the same number in our head. Wow, that'd I, be amazing. Okay. How many did you say? 86. 86. Oh, Trent, man. how many did you say? I said 245. 245 for four play. 86 for the Icemen. The correct answer is 198. Four plays up to nothing. <laughs> yeah! right. yes! Trent Ryan, Cheetah Rapids. All right. Right. Frankie versus Stu. Four play can sweep here. Four play has three chances to win. On, Don't boys. say it. Calories Don't like in an that. original glazed donut from Krispy Kreme. Calories in an original glazed donut from Krispy Kreme. This is Frankie and Stu. Frankie and Stu. Four play can tie it up four to four if they get this. Man, we were close on both too. Yeah, the, these those we've all had fair like it was they were both kind of off. I, actually, I thought I lost them. when you heard when I when you listened to the numbers. I actually thought Elio was closer. I did too. <laughs> That's how five, yeah. four, three. Stu reveal first. Two, one. How many? Three hundred. Yeah. Frankie, how many? Four hundred and ten. Four hundred and ten. Correct answer. One hundred and ninety. Ice men stay alive. Ice men stay alive. Wow, that what? So oh, that's that basically a shock. Those are basically uh, di- that's a diet food. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that a banana? I mean, <laughs> is that, is that is a glazed donut. As a side note, my second kid's bar mitzvah. I had a Krispy Kreme truck outside the place giving the New York Times oh. and two oh. dozen Krispy Kremes. I spent like eight thousand on Krispy Kremes. <laughs> uh, this for three hundred and fifty people. Each person got two dozen and the New York Times. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, who do you want to have up? Anybody? I'll I'll, I'll go again. Nate, I'll Riggs, go again. who do you want to have go? I'll go again. Okay, 
Here we go. Here's your question. <laughs> in feet, what is the height of the Eiffel Tower to the tip of the Eiffel Tower? To the tip, from floor to tip. Height of the Eiffel Tower in feet. Foreplay, you get this, you win. Iceman, if you get this, we go to game five. <clears throat> Man, that's tough. Can I ask something? They have to get it exact. No. Five. <laughs> no, it's a Four. Shocking question. Nate, at this three. Point. And he will. Two. It, uh, Nate, reveal. One. Nine, nine, one. Nine, nine, one. Riggs, reveal. Six, five, zero. Six, Six fifty. Five, zero. Correct answer. 1,083, we go to game five. That's very close. We go to game five. <laughs> nice job. Dude. Uh, Nate, that was amazing. Dude. I don't even know where Dude, I am right now, by the way. He's feeling it. Dude. <laughs> Shout out 99. Get out the defibrillator. We're in real trouble. 991. Nine, <laughs> it's, it's a big one. It's like missing a five-foot putt, Trent. Uh, who do you want to have go next? Nate, it can be anybody. You can go again if you want. Uh, I, As the captain, I feel it's my responsibility to do it. Let's go. Good. Riggs, who do you want to have I'm, go? I'm going to go Trent Ryan. All wow. Right. Wow. Trent Ryan. All right. Here we go. Passing the buck. Combined Three. age wow. for the win. Combined age of James Franco and Dave Franco. Combined age of James Franco and Dave Franco. That is Trent a hilarious Nate. question, by the way. <laughs> winner, <laughs> winner gets it. Winner gets it. Either going to be six to two Icemen or four to four. I, I, uh, what? <laughs> hold on, hold on. All right. I got a number. I don't know which way to go here. Nate, need an answer in five, four, All right. three, Good luck, Trent. two, Good luck, one. Nate. 79. 79. <laughs> Trent. 78. Correct answer. Oh my God! Please tell me it's lower. Eighty-one. Iceman. Yeah! 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 <laughs> it's just within a pound. Holy yeah. shit! Mo, it's, it's just this. The team is trying. It's a trivia play. Thirty million dollar pots. I'm sure he can answer trivia when it counts. Wait, what are their ages, Jeff? I wrote forty-three and thirty-six. I don't have the individual in front of it. It's eighty-one combined. Oh my God! Holy gosh. shit! Wow. Okay. What a rush. I mean, this is insane. It's truly insane. Am I going to need my paper towels anymore, Jeff? So we got our first win of the year, right? No. <laughs> Whoa, Stu! No, 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 no. Oh, there's, there's, there's a lot of points. There's 15 points. There's more than that, actually. Can you believe? For, oh, can you believe God. that he guessed 79 and I guessed no, I 78? Can't that. That's amazing. Because I can't. That's amazing. Wow. Trent, you know what's sick? Is I was like, if he goes 77 or 76, should I go even lower and go to, into the 60s? But I just, I just. I am able to sleep at night because that the other number in my head was 77. So I was like, if it's like. Sleep at night. You got it. You were too off. Yeah, it's crazy. Mean, amazing. Did amazing. NHL. You did amazing. NHL. All right, fellas, Anyone come on. Double NHL? Sure play, you want to double NHL? <sighs> Do we want to double NHL? We're not like the questions that have been so oh, hard, Frankie. I wouldn't... We're not good at anything. Okay. <laughs> no, we're not good no at anything. No double. I, this I is for the Icemen. For the Icemen. The closest active player in the Eastern Conference to 1,000 career points is this player who joined the new team in 2022-2023. All right. That's this season. Closest active player in the Eastern Conference. Damn, that's a fun question. That's so tough. Ah. He joined a new team. We can also call someone, but I don't know if anybody's that sharp in hockey. Call Frank the Tank. Gee. Joined a new you want to team. Call that's dead. No. He would know it. No, he wouldn't. Yes, he would. He knows everything about hockey. Trust me, he does. This is so tough. Uh, I don't need a decision in five, five, four, three, two, one. Four play for the steal. Fellas, Fra Frankie, do you have any ideas? 
No, I mean, I'm trying, just trying to think of all-time, like, veterans that have moved a team. Dude, I'm, just now. I'm fucking rattled because I feel like I just saw the other day somebody who scored X amount that got them, like, kind of in the ballpark of 1,000. And I remember being like, wow, that's amazing. And I can't fucking think of who it was. Am I allowed to take a picture of this and I send it to Tank? Fuck oh, me, yeah. dude. <sighs> Anything? This is going to drive me crazy. Five. I need a name or something. Four. Three. Two. Joined a new team this year. One. I, I can't. I got nothing. Is it someone in Florida? Is it? Cole. Is it? Um. What's his the name? Guy? In Florida. Cole Drew. Oh, Otto. Oh, wow. Yeah, Other country. side to make it six to three. That guy existed. The closest active player in the Western Conference to a thousand yeah. career points is this player who joined the new team in 2022-2023. So disgusting. You have double dip, Iceman. You have call a friend and double dip left. Nobody from like the Hawks big time went anywhere new. Nobody. No. This is going to kill It's not like Joe Pavelski. He's been on Dallas for a while, right? Yeah. Has he been there for a little while? That's a decent I one, Joe Pavelski. Um, I don't hate that answer. What? Uh, yeah. I think he's been on Dallas already. I was man. thinking, did somebody from Dallas go somewhere? But I don't think so. No. This is impossible. Um, my goodness, man. My Fucking goodness. Soon. You know? This is tough. I don't hate the Someone from the Kings. You want to just say Pavelski? I think he's already been there. I think he was there last year. Five. I'm almost positive he was. Four. I'm trying to think of big fucking free. Let's say Joe Pavelski. Final answer. No, it's not. Answer. No. Other side. Fifteen seconds. So fucking hard. That's really t- yeah. Um, it's hard if you don't know anything. Ella, who's your don't. boy up in Calgary? <laughs> so true. <laughs> we don't know anything. Winnipeg. Room, man. What the hell? Oh, someone on the Kraken, perhaps? How did I think the Eiffel Tower was 600 feet tall? Five, four, three, two, one. No, he's... Phil Kessel. Phil Phil Kessel. Where's he at now? Vegas. Oh. He was on... What? Movies. He was on Vegas for... No, he was not. He was not. Movies. An Anyone want to double movies? I love movies. You want to just double yes. movies? We got to double something at some point. Yeah. Or play doubles. Yeah. This is double huge. It. Huge. Icemen. You have two lifelines. Keep that in mind. Johnny Depp earned two 2011 Golden Globe Best Actor nominations. One for Alice in Wonderland. And then for this romantic thriller. To make it seven to two. I think we should call someone. Going to earn two? Is it the same year? I, say that again. Same year. Two thousand eleven. I think we should call a movie person. <laughs> okay, that's. I mean, I'm. I actually think I know it. God damn it! It just came to me. We should still call just to be sure. I mean, it's only. I mean, I think I know it too, but I. I, I mean. Can I mean, I, let's like you know let, let let's just call. Wait, I'll call. Do you do you think what what do you think it is? I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Let's just call. Okay, you're calling. Okay. You're committed to a call in five. I'm calling. Who are you calling? Okay. Uh, Ken. I assume that would be who you were calling. Most phone person in the dozen. <laughs> is that true? Is he good? He gets the guy who knows that. things. Yeah. Must yeah, be yeah. nice. I th- can't believe Tommy didn't answer that. Phone Such phone. a piece of shit. He's the he lead. blew a two nothing lead. Texas, what are we I was doing? Watching a movie. Nate, I, I know what I think. Uh, he's not picking up. So we're the worst teams, and the people like us the least. <laughs> Nobody Nate, picks up. What are you thinking? What type of movie was it? It, it was a romantic thriller, I think. <laughs> Do you want me to say what I think it is? Hello. I'll leave your message uh, for ten seconds. I'm I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Called what? Tourist. Fuck, really? That's not what he had. I never saw that movie. <laughs> Nate, What's it called? The Tourist? Tourist? Tourist, yeah. Five. Tourist, final answer. Seven to two, that is correct. Tourist. <laughs> he pulled that out of his ass. I had to do that too. Great poll, man. Tourist. Jesus. 
Yeah, that, that was, was fantastic. Sorry for screaming. So we we're doubled up here. Is that true? Wow. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Holy I love fuck, winning, boys. No, I make it seven to four. I make it seven to four. Fuck. Ryan Gosling earned two 2012 Golden Globe Best Actor nominations: one for Ides of March, and then for this romantic comedy. I got this one. Is he in that movie? What's the movie oh. with him and Steve Carell? Yeah, yeah, it's um, Crazy Stupid Love. Is that it? Oh. Yeah, I feel like that came out like right when I was coming out. Of, I, I, God, that feels early. I was just coming out of high school. The one where they go to the bar. Crazy all Stupid the time? Love's in twenty twelve. So. Was he a? Yeah, he was probably the main actor, right? Because it was all about like him. I don't know, it. No, it was all about Steve Carell, wasn't it? But he. But it's a romantic fuck comedy, it. man. That's all we got. I think it's that's right. Be crazy, stupid I think that's love. right. It has to I think be that's crazy, right. stupid right. love. I'm going to go crazy, stupid be. love. Final answer. Seven to four. <laughs> four points to <still> one. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> yeah. Dog. Round Thank nine. You. Jersey yeah, numbers. Love of God. Jersey numbers. You're going to see three players. MLB, or excuse me, NBA, NFL, NHL. Tell me the jersey yeah, number that they wore. Thing. Sometimes. Or yeah. Icemen. Wait. Jeff, you broke up. Can you do that again? Oh, stop. Man. I didn't hear him. Um, Jersey, Jersey numbers. <laughs> Just guess the number. And all three guys have the same number, yeah, right? Yeah, the same common number on the team that you, you're looking at. This is for the Icemen, up so seven to four. <laughs> nice. You got him. Yikes. I gotta look close. Like how this what, this is an old crew. Me and Stu are fucking like, uh. I don't know. I don't know any all three of them. Forget, <laughs> forget about yeah. getting that number. <laughs> do you give the yeah. names, Jeff, or do you not? I do not. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Actually, do I for this one? Hold on. Let's see if I wrote it down. You did it when we originally played it this way, no, but I, I don't know if you changed it. Question you card did. has I think it. Did. Okay. Question card has it. Remember, this is for the Icemen, though. Jason Richardson, Ronnie Brown, Dustin Brown. Oh. Sometimes Ronnie I do, Brown sometimes I don't. NFL number. What, what's the hockey player? Dustin Brown. Dustin, I, I mean, I could just guess. But, uh, I need something in. Elliot, what's your guess? Five. I mean, the running back? 32. 32, 32. Final, 30, 31, final answer. Other side. I'm pretty sure was, Jason Richardson wore 23. Wow. Do you guys know the hockey player? I was personally going to say like 30 something for the hockey player. Dustin Brown to me, I think was in the thirties, but if you say 23, can, I don't, I don't despise that. Can NBA players wear 23? They didn't retire, right. did they? Yeah. Four. No. Do 23. Oh. I think Richardson wore 23. Oh, 23, final answer. Seven to five. Oh, That's yeah. correct. That's huge, Trent Ryan. That's huge, Trent Ryan. That's a steal. Trent, 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 no, they wouldn't have worn 91 in basketball. Okay. Tayshawn. You have double dip. Do I have it backwards. Is it 19? Well. Dude, do you think a Sedin Frankie wore number five? I think that's. Oh, see, I don't know. Yeah. See, just like a fucking score. Would like, he wear like an 11 or a 10? 10 seconds. Mm, maybe. Hmm. <sighs> You like five? I I don't. Are you confident in five, five. for the football player? No. Four. Do Three. try a uh, dude. Why Three. don't you do nineteen? 19 final answer. Other side for a two point lead. I, I'm guessing. I think Jackson wore twenty two. I think that sounds beautiful. Tayshawn Prince number twenty two. I don't know though. I, that's just. A, I can I, see I, it. All right. I mean, this, that's as good as we're going to get, right? I didn't but, know the Sedin were 22, but they're twins. They're weird. Maybe five, they did. Four. 22. Final answer. That is correct. Eight to yes! five. Wow. Wow. Amazing. Wow. What a pull. Take a pal. Amazing. I would have never. I would have. I would have never guessed. Truly amazing. Tayshawn Prince, 22. Three point lead. 
Eight points I'm left. Jack. Here we go. This is for the Iceman. The Iceman, you picked How I Met Your Mother. God damn it. The Masters for foreplay. The Masters. I can... Here we go. This go is for the Iceman to go up 10 to 5 with six Sweet. points left. In season two, Marshall imagines Lily on a date with funk legend George Clinton, in which he gives Lily what as a present? Uh, see, I was going to – if you asked the other way, I would have known it was George Clinton. Can you read it one more time? Yep. During uh, In season two, Marshall imagines Lily on a date with funk legend George Clinton, in which he gives Lily what as a present? For two points. Big moment. Cause he like he goes through her mail and he's like she's probably banging funk legend because she's supposed to be in San Francisco but she's actually in New York. You don't, you don't. Need something soon. I don't Five. Get... What's the double? Four. Three. Can't double dip here. Two. One. Concert tickets. <laughs> Other side. I don't watch a show. Me neither. What's a gift that somebody would give a woman? You know, I mean, oh, what a fun, that a funk that a funk legend would give to? Is that right? Is that the question? Like a yeah, some hard. sort of instrument. Concert Maybe tickets like might not be bad. Like, uh, did he get like his a, concert um, tickets? Guess in or no? Five. Do concert? Yeah, was that counted? Maybe. Was his he guess did not counted? Get a guess in two. No, do concert, concert tickets. tickets. Final one. answer. Ferret. Oh, okay. Ferret. Yeah, Ferret. 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 That's, hands. That's, a, was... that's a 10 out of 10 hard question. That's tough. <laughs> well, I don't watch the show, so I have to outsource the question. Trent Ryan knows that very well from when I had to write Big Bang Theory trivia. So yeah. Hulk hands. Hulk hands. All right. I don't know, like Folgers? <laughs> yeah. Other to... side. Masters to make it 8 to 7. Bro, we can we can pull up here. Let's do it. In what has now become a bit of a trend, this golfer finished runner-up to Hideki Matsuyama at the 2021 Masters. Was that? I actually, was that? What? Who do you think? Here's what I think. I think that he's trying to trick us into saying Xander Shoffley because he tied him, but then he made like a six on 16 and actually finished third. And I think Lee Westwood finished second. So I'm going to say. Okay, okay. What? Who do you think? It wasn't Zalatoris, was it? Was it? But I guess what is the? I'm sorry. I, let's go, Lee Westwood. I don't want to no, put that in because, your head. No, I think it's. He said becoming a trend, not that it is a trend. I think you're right. Let's say I think you're right. No, you're right. Wouldn't it be someone that would? No, no. Can I you repeat rig. the question? Four. And what has what Three has been rig. a trend? We can't Two see rig. it. Will's out One for his final answer. We can't see it, which is eight tough. to seven. Oh, that is correct. Will Dude. Trent, wow. you sicko! You absolute sicko! I didn't know if he was saying it. Could, I didn't he, know the answer. Obviously, obviously afterwards, he's, he's a second place guy. Yeah, he is. I hope my house is two rounds left. Understand that that was <laughs> two rounds left. Two rounds left. Which this this next round is hilarious. If you saw Twitter from Stu and Elio today, the next category is snacks and candy. <laughs> wow. Trent, big moment. Between about big moment. Yeah, really? Z- Fuck yeah. Snacks and candy, eight to seven. Both teams have their double dip. This is for Icemen. Icemen. Along with the classic form, Nerd sells a larger variation in yellow pouches with a crunchy outside and soft inside under what name? I think I have it. If it's if it's that straightforward. Along with the classic form. Stu, did you come across those today? <laughs> Crunchy outside and short inside. All right. Sorry, Elio? I mean, I don't really know. I don't know. All right. I mean, I have an guess, but it's not. Nerds not. Nerds ropes, final answer. No, I, I don't. You want to see three poker faces? Because, uh, Frank, you know this, right? It's not clusters, is it? Bro, how is it not? Because I don't think it comes in. I got to be honest. It's it's either that or it's a tough question because clusters comes in multiple different color bags. Oh, and yellow pouches to me is weird. I don't know what a yellow pouch is with a crunchy dude. I think what. So what's the official name of those, Frankie? 
Okay. Gummy clusters. I'm pretty nerds. Gummy clusters. Five. Gummy clusters. Four. Final answer. I would say yeah. Nerds. Gummy clusters. I don't know. <laughs> big, oh, big chewy. Big chewy. Oh, that's a different big one. Chewy then. nerd. Yeah, I knew. Yeah, it couldn't have been. I mean, it's to it's make it outside, eight to eight. eight to make it eight to eight. Fuck, that was a big one. Okay. Along with their classic tablets, Sweet Tart sells a soft and chewy licorice variation in dual colored pouches under what name? Is this Shock Tarts? Wait, wait, wait. Licorice variation. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. I think it's, it's, is it, um, it's going to sound crazy, but is it Sweet Tarts Rope? I know they guess nerd rope, but I've I feel like I've seen sweet tart ropes, licorice variation. All right. All right, you know it could be, it could be, <laughs> it could not be though. Sweet tart but, ropes is that what it is? Yeah, <laughs> bro. Sounds... I, unless somebody else has a guess. Hot hand going. Four, Feed the hot hand, dude. Three, sweet tarts ropes. Final answer. We are tied up going yes. into round twelve. <laughs> <That's correct. laughs> he is. Can we put the he's on fire <laughs> sign on this? He'll guy. get a heating up. He'll get a heating up. Uh, all right, television, last category. Oh, my God. If nobody wins, we go to overtime. Trend. Television, Trend. last category. You both have your double dip. I will note you do not have to use it. You do not have to use it. You obviously you, you narrow down the answer pool if you use it. So if you don't feel like you want to use it, don't use it. Icemen, TV, here's your question. You get this. You have the lead. Can't do any worse than overtime. <laughs> if you miss and they steal, also not over. Debuting on USA Network, this new age horror franchise that began in the 2010s got a 2018 TV adaptation running for two seasons to take the lead. Oh, it started as a movie and then it went to TV. <laughs> hmm. You do have your. I mean, I, your double. Yes, but it's it, it's a I guess. guess What's your guess? I don't know if it's on What's Channel your guess? Eleven at USA Net. Charmed. <coughs> Elliot, what's your guess? Uh, America Horror Story. Uh, Ten. Final answer. Other side for the lead. Is it that? Um, is it the one? Is it like the hotel with the the the, the banks or um, like with the the kid and his mom? And it's like, it's like one of those horror characters playing like as he was a child. Is that what I'm thinking of? Uh, Bell's Banks Hotel or like something like that. Um, five. You, know you it goes with what you Four. think. Because I don't Outer know. Banks? No, like, that's not the name. Know. No, that's Two. not the name of the show. Uh, Charm. The final answer. Let's say something. Uh, the Purge. No. Oh. The Purge. Oh, so the Bates Motel. Is what I'm More play. Say. You get this, you win. Come on, if guys. If you don't, they steal. They win. If nobody gets it, we go to overtime. Let's just get lucky and know it. Let's this just get know. lucky In which case, know it. you wouldn't need that paper towel again. This is Here we go. The TV show. I'm out of it. For the win. You have your double dip. You do not have to use it. Guys, come on. One time. Debut on MTV, the slasher franchise that began in the 90s, got a 2015 TV adaptation running for three seasons for the win. I think I know it. No. Trent? I think that's, and, that's Scream, right? I know nothing. And you're the hot hand. I if, do have your double dip reminder. Trent, I spent yours in the fall, obviously. Trent, I think we just go with fucking <laughs> Scream and we run around and we celebrate a victory I, one time. Give it to me. Just lock it in. Okay. Scream, Frankie, final Frankie. answer. They've won for the yeah! first time. That is correct. Who do you fuck in my face? Too much of a detriment to this. Yeah, I, 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 I saw you. I'm sorry, Elio. I'm a zero. I'm bring nothing to the table. What? Come back. Trent, that's the best comeback of all time. Trent, you. Who do you think you are? You are. Look how hot he is right now. I just. Yeah. I didn't answer uh, a single question. Nine to eight. You are Trent on. Trent had five points in the second half. Uh, 
Iceman, the only team that lost this week that I think has a real chance at actually staying alive. I think the fan vote oh. Wow. Um, wow. More yeah. playing. <laughs> Finally won. Yeah. Come on, oh, boys. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Duds Week. Take a done sale for Arizona next week. You just got to let it end oh. after that. Amazing. See you next week.